Imagine for a second you have two things, and you think these two somethings are related to each other. How can you tell if your thing one and thing two have anything to do with each other or not? It's time for reality class. If you had the joy of watching my last video about the theory of multiple intelligences, you probably saw me talking about correlations, or how two variables are related. And while you might have had a rough idea of what this word means, unless you're one of those fancy stats nerds, you probably wish you knew more. Or you might not, in which case you should probably stop watching now, otherwise this might seem like a boring lecture you had to take to pass your course. Anyway, here at the Reality Guy channel, we try to make learning fun, so you better enjoy yourselves, damn it! Moving on. What exactly is a correlation? Well, the principle of it is, by collecting data on two different things, or variables, you can work out how much these two variables are related to one another. Some examples might be your IQ in school grades, and the GDP of a country and the average happiness of its inhabitants. The point being, a correlation gives you a value that tells you how much two things are related. A correlation of zero would look like this. As you can see, in this dataset, there is no relationship whatsoever between an individual's shoe size and their IQ. Please don't take this data seriously, I made it up. I'm unaware of what the actual correlation is between shoe size and IQ. But you know what they say about guys with big feet. It's completely unrelated to the size of their dick. And that's this week's episode of Reality Check. I'm just joking. I told you this would be fun. Moving on. A correlation of one would look something like this. In this alternate universe, you can predict someone's IQ with 100% accuracy from their shoe size. This data is also made up, by the way. Correlations, of course, vary a lot, and don't only come in the 1 and 0 kind. You can also have a negative correlation, where instead of one variable increasing along with another, like the temperature in a room and the amount you sweat, for example, one variable decreases as the other increases, like the amount of noise your neighbors are making and your happiness at that point in time. Keep in mind though, a correlation only helps to describe a linear relationship between two variables, that is, a positive or negative relationship that continues in a straight line. For example, even though you can see here x and y have a clearly observable relationship, the correlation for these two variables is actually zero, because a correlation is assessing the strength of a linear relationship. Now that you've learned what a correlation is, you're ready to go out into the world and start making hilarious stats videos and get the respect of everybody. No, you're not. Because there's one thing about correlations that is often misunderstood, and it's something crucial. And that something would be that correlation does not imply causation. This is a phrase you might have heard before, but might not be entirely sure what it means. Here's what I'm talking about. Let's take the example of people sweating more, on average, when the average room temperature increases. We can clearly see that these two variables are related, since when one is at a higher value, usually so is the other. What this doesn't mean is that an increase in one is causing the other. Even though we might like to think that the increasing temperature is causing people to sweat more, there isn't actually evidence of that in this graph. Because from the data we have, it's equally likely that people sweating more is somehow causing the temperature to rise in the room. It's also just as likely that neither one of these variables is causing an increase in the other, and that a third variable that we don't know about is causing an increase in both of them separately, like the amount of radiation from the sun or something. It could also be any combination of any of these explanations. Bottom line, correlations don't tell you jack about why the variables are related. It just tells you how accurately you can predict one variable from another. So, if you ever see anyone presenting a correlation as evidence of a causative relationship, correlate your hand with their face and give them a slap! <laughs>